Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're enjoying the information that is being posted in this event because my goal is as your friend to help you understand how eating clean and healthy helps improve your body. And yesterday I posted um, a tip on how to create your own seasoning so that you don't um, depend on things that are high sugar, um, high sugar, highly processed, or with a lot of salt included. So it's based off of a lot of herbs. All right, so hey Lily, how are you? I'm hoping that today is Transformation Tuesday, so I wanted to teach you something that I've learned to apply into my lifestyle and I have made it my own. And it's basically controlling my portions because food is very good and if it's clean and we're thinking it's low in calories, we can easily overeat in this food. So that's why it's important to control our portions and make sure that we have what, we're, what our body needs and that we're not overeating. Um, it's, it, I take it as, you know, at the beginning when you're not used to this, it's almost like you want to portion out your plate and not, not necessarily clean everything off of the plate, but then again, you don't want to feel hungry at the end of your meal, all right? So the first idea is to control what you're eating and your portions, how you're putting it out there. And pay attention to the foods you eat from the groups that you're eating in. So, you know, when I taught second grade, one of the things that I, I learned was about the food groups. You know, there's vegetables, there's starchy vegetables, there's carbs, there's high sugary um, carbs, there are um, meats and there's lean meats, there's fatty meats, there are um, high fatty fish and there's like healthy fats, unhealthy fats. So learn a little bit about how your body needs all of these healthy fats and healthy nutrients in order for it to function at, at its best. The other thing is you also want to stay consistent. Your body cannot run on having coffee in the morning with like crackers. You also need to divide your meals throughout your day so that you can have about a five to a six meal per day schedule. So what I like to do is I break up my meals between two hours. Um, I eat six times a day and one of my meals is Shakeology, which is a dense nutrition um, shake. It comes in different flavors. My favorite flavor is chocolate and I prepare it in less than a minute. It's easy for me to grab and go and it keeps me satisfied for up to two to three hours. If I put a fruit, I can hold it for three hours. So you want to be able to, to like spread your foods throughout the day so that you're not hungry um, when you sit down to eat and then it causes you to overeat. If you're constantly snacking, like if you're constantly eating every hour, you're also going to feel dissatisfied because you're not letting your body feel hungry. And it's a training base, so you're going to train your body how to you know time itself and just like we do when we have babies um we put them on a schedule they have their milk at this time and then we give them a, a fruit and then we give them their lunch and then we give them their milk and then we give them same idea goes for us as adults coffee time i drink my coffee black and if i have to add sugar i do i could i encourage you to use raw honey I never thought that I would like raw honey, but it actually tastes really good. I also use Truvia, which is a derivative of Stevia, and it's very low in calories and it's good for your body. Um, the other thing that I would suggest that you keep in mind is to hydrate your body. You need approximately half your body weight in water in order for your body to be fl um, flushing all of the toxins out of it. So take your weight, and I know a lot of us hate stepping on that scale, but the idea is that you can step on the scale and figure out how much you weigh, then divide that in half, and that is the amount of water you should be drinking on a daily basis. 
your body is about 70% water. So if you drink at least two liters, which is about eight glasses of water a day, you would be completely um, hydrated, which makes you feel also less hungry, less anxious to reach out for foods when you don't need it. All right, and then the other thing is, you want to make sure that you're eating a variety. So you're not just eating carbs or you're just not eating vegetables or you're just not eating fruits. Like I know in the past, I used to jump from diet to diet. And one of the diets that I did that really worked for me for when I was doing it was the Atkins diet. And that diet um, focused a lot on eating a lot of protein, no fruits, and vegetables so I would sit with like a plate of bacon and broccoli unhealthy because my body needs fruits to actually function at its best so you don't want to crash your body you want to give it what it needs um, you want to also train your body I'm big on believing that we are our own masters you know how um, you have pets at home. You are the one who rules over that pet. So we are the ruler over our own lives. Our own mind and our own healthy lifestyle is ruled by us. So we must put like a lock <laughs> and say, after this time, I will not eat. And that is, you know, don't snack after let's say if you had dinner your dinner was at six or seven then don't go into the refrigerator at nine and grab like a little cookie or grab popcorn or grab chips because now your your body is getting ready to go to sleep and by putting food in your mouth you're waking it up so now it's spiking up again and it's working and it's meant to lower itself down so the rule of thumb is you should basically stop your food intake four hours before bedtime. So that way you are not um, depleting your body or making it feel uh, overstressed. So one of the questions that I get a lot from people, okay, you need these. I have, um, I understand the idea that I have to portion control. I have to use portion and balance my meals. And one of the benefits of being in a program that comes with everything you need is the fact that you will get a guide. And in this guide, you are also going to be given what we call our container system. And the container system, I'm gonna go briefly about it because many of you um, have questions about my little color containers. And these are the containers that I use. This one would be for my fruit. This is for my carbs. This would be for my healthy fats. This would be for my dressings and seeds. This would be for, for vegetables. And this would be for protein. Now, I remember at one point in my life, I used to also use Weight Watchers and it goes by points. And it starts off with calories. And I would save calories. Like I wouldn't eat during like <laughs> when Thursday hit. I would stop eating because I wanted to save my points so that I can use them over the weekend. Big mistake because again, your body needs a balance and you have to spread out your meals between two to three hours every day so that you're eating the right portions. And these containers go by your weight. So however much you weigh, then your weight is calculated into the calories, which then equal containers that then you will spread throughout your day and make it a balanced meal we do have these available for sale on their on their own standing by themselves but i would actually encourage you to try it with the full program and it will come with your fitness um, program that you can put in it's a dvd format so you can plug it in your computer your tv and work out it also comes with a 30-day um, supply of Shakeology and it can also give you ideas for meals and a guide for you to follow and this would also help you understand how to help your body burn more calories because yes eating clean is healthy but we don't want to overeat because then we overdo and overwork our um, work 
So Lily and Sabrina, since you guys are live with me right now, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the section below and I will, I know it lingers a little bit, so you can um, comment and I will be glad to answer any questions you have. And just so that you know, if you work out, your calorie intake is different. If you're a woman, your calorie intake is different than if you are a man. So these things um, would be guided to you by your coach, which would essentially be me or the person who invited you to this event. Uh, so that's basically it. I wanted to share that with you. I will be um, sharing with you, as promised, some of the cooking tips from my friends. I think today I'll be getting the oatmeal cookies, uh, the oatmeal pancake recipe, and I have a recipe for um, apple banana muffins that I want to um, share with you. Your problem is that I feel I weigh more when I drink things, even water. Um, well, your body retains water, so it's going to help you feel as if you're, I guess, fuller. Um, but I'm not sure. Maybe you're eating um, high water retention um, foods. I'm not sure if your question is um, very, it's clear for me to help you, Lily. Because it feels... If you're not drinking sugary liquids, which is something else, like if you're not putting, you're not you drinking sh um, sugar, then you should not feel um, like you're adding any extra calories to your body. And Sabrina, don't feel bad about yourself. Sabrina, it's time for you to just own it and take responsibility over your life. I know that once we've failed so many times, it's hard for us to even think um, that we have a solution in our hands. But when we really understand that Rome wasn't built in one day, our bodies are not going to turn around and fix themselves in a night, in a day. We have to give ourselves the opportunity to try new things to be patient in the transition as we apply these things. It's not easy. I just shared with you six things that I've used to control my appetite, to transform my metabolism, to completely um, change my weight. And, you know, I've controlled what, I, what I'm eating. Like, I love rice, but I don't eat rice in abundance, like overeat it. I love, um, I could eat meat all day, every day, but I know that my body only needs a certain amount of, of servings of meat. So I make sure that I make, I keep it in control. So I pay attention to what I'm eating and I know my body needs to eat more than once a day, more than two times a day, more than three times a day. My body needs at least five meals a day, minimum. And I know that I feel better when I am hydrated. I know I feel better when I am cleansing my system, when I'm using the bathroom, and like Oprah says, my urine is clear as water. I feel better, which I help, it helps me think clearer, and I'm able to be better. Um, and I don't, I stop snacking. But like, to stop snacking, I could say it took me over a year. To stop doing it you know and i had to like train myself by having um tea at night or by doing things that distract me from like eating okay lily um so i hope that helps you sabrina understand that you know your habits won't change overnight lily if you want um i would like to speak to you off line that way i can get a better understanding on what it is you're struggling with so that i know how to help you best all right and um i'm sorry i apologize for that person who for that passenger who is doing that to you because i know it's not easy but day by day one day at a time one habit at a time do 
the best that you can do and know that you are worth more so stop like giving in to other things and just say i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do something that improves my life and let's you know move forward all right so again i have a group that will be starting september 19th and it is based on a fit mind and a body a fit mind and fit body because that's essentially what we need in order to conquer everything that we want out of this life all right so be blessed Go ahead and share this video with someone who you think also needs to learn how to apply new habits into their lives and who also want to be part of a circle that can support them in making changes to their health. I appreciate your time. Take care. Bye-bye.